Hello everybody, welcome to Movie Social. It's your host Steph, co-host Ricky. Today we're going to be doing a spoiler version of Crossing Swords, which is a Hulu exclusive that can be found the entire series is on Hulu. Um, and it stars Nicholas Holt as Patrick, Luke Evans as King Merriman, and Adam Polly as Broth. Like they, they, those are the main yeah. three characters. Um, or Queen. Um, yeah, and you have Queen Tulip, which, you know, the whole royal family essentially. So, um, it takes place with Patrick. Um, it starts off when he was younger, um, and they were on a mountain with, the, uh, with dragon eggs. Cracking the eggs essentially, and then they get chased by a dragon, whatever the case may be, burn down a kitty adoption place, which was crazy. Um, and so he has uh, uh, two older brothers and an older sister, and they all diff definitely want to be uh, different things. He wants to be a squire. So it time jumps, and he tries out for the, uh, the squire tournament to be a squire, and lo and behold, he makes it. By cheating, like everybody By else cheating, was like everybody did. else was, um, and essentially he sent on task. Um, task includes many, many, many things. But it's crazy because it started off with when he first started those tests, got punished, which turned out to be good for him, which was weird. Oh yeah, he got punished for for not wanting to. Eat, kill yeah. a fairy. Yeah, eat a kill fairy, which he should have, because that, that fairy should <laughs> glitter all in his face. But yeah, so as as each episode goes, he's doing tasks, um, and he's finding out things that the, the, the King Merriman is just a terrible king. Like he sent him on a task to make a new torture device to kill people, and then sent him to decide who to kill. Um, it was wild. Then that, like he, so Patrick tries to sabotage, <laughs> tries to sabotage the killing, only to make it, more make it worse because it was, he tried to remove a bolt thinking, okay, I'm going to remove this bolt. And, and he the, took out the Mar mercy bolt. Yeah, and the, the, he took out the mercy bolt and they ended up killing Robin Hood. And he died a very slow and painful death. And it was very bloody. He got blood all over everybody in the arena. Like it was like a splash zone or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, then you're introduced to uh, Princess Blossom, which is the daughter, and she's just like a very loud mouth, and she's not she's supposed to like leave her, her, her. Like it was like one episode where she wasn't supposed to leave a room, and because of an assassin, they found that it was something yeah. regarding assassins, um, and she leaves the room anyway, and. Patrick ends up saving her, but ends up killing her boyfriend. So it's like, I mean, he does what he's supposed to do, but then other people get hurt. But which, is that really her boyfriend, though? That's the part that made it confusing to me in the beginning. Because I'm like, you just met this guy. How yeah, is your goddamn boyfriend? Yeah, but I mean, they said that it was her boyfriend or whatever. So I want to call it her boyfriend. Um, and so as it starts to progress, they do a flashback of how... Or what happened and why the king is so poor. Like, he wanted a water park. Mm. Then he started doing these, like, he started, he mortgaged the castle. Then he mortgaged something else. And then, like, he, like, sold his grain f for oh, a magic for beans. magic beans. Then there was also a part South where, Florida? yeah. Then he, there was a part where he, oh, he said that he burned the water park down to collect the insurance money but didn't get insurance on the water park all horrible but all this is happening the townspeople is just getting raw into the state no food they got diseases uh plus the these running around rampantly yeah. as well because they just all out there having sex with the same people wild and crazy and then, I mean, so then, then you got being stuck you have the means of, but before we get to that, we're going to talk about um, the Chill Society, which I thought was hilarious. As apparently is this um, King's Weekend, where all the kings from different um, countries, parts of the world, come together and just mattress relax. King. Say that again. The mattress, the mattress king. king, the uh, pharaoh came, um, and they literally just like get drunk, have sex, eat all this kind of foods, and just like be merry. 
wow out the entire weekend. And then there was one point where, he, like I said, he's always saving someone to hurt someone. He saves his brother because they're going to do, his brother is a clown. And they do this thing called a clown hunt. He finds out that the actual king, the old king, is still alive. But he's just crazy. Um, mad king, essentially. Um, yeah, and then, you know, he blackmails King Merriman saying, listen, if you kill my brother, I'm going to tell everybody that the old king is still alive. And that prevents his brother from being killed. Um, and then as the story grows, it, you keep finding out about this assassin. You keep seeing this like red-headed, not red-headed, red-hooded cloak figure lurk, lurking around. With a symbol of a heart and a key. Yeah. Combined. And as the story progresses, the beanstalk part, you, want, you can you know, divulge on uh, that. The beanstalk. beanstalk is crazy. Hilarious. So, okay, you, you guys know about Jack and the Beanstalk and all that. Well, I hope you do. But so, all right, so the see the magical beans that the king brought, he potted those, but they didn't really do anything. So, Patrick goes and plants them right next to the castle, and lo and behold, it grows into this giant beanstalk. And then the, during this time, the king is trying to hide out because he doesn't want to face his subjects or do any work or do any kingly duties. Because they, have, supposed they also don't have cake. Nope. All this because he doesn't have cake and other things that he can no longer afford but want and thinks he's entitled to. So he looks out the window, sees the beanstalk, climbs up it. Patrick comes to try and coax him out of the room. Lo and behold, the king's not there. Sees the beanstalk, climbs up it. They find these new group of people who actually are more of a democratic and civilized race up in the clouds. But you know, the king Does this is king the king stuff. of literally laziness or nothing. Finds out that, oh, they have cake up here. Right? Almost an endless supply in his mind of cake, water, everything. He says, I'm not going back. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to Keep stay going. here, Keep going. eat everything. But oh, we have order and rules here. You cannot just eat all of this cake. You ate over a month's supply. And Seconds. Keep going. What, did, what so else did what he do? Did he do? <laughs> no. What else did oh, he do? He also did go to the bathroom in their water supply as well, which was crazy. <laughs> Thinking that was their bathroom, but it was their entire water supply. So who knows what they're going to drink now? But going fa fast forwarding, they aren't happy about this. Patrick's like, "Let's go. Let's go back home." King says, "No." They get tied down and strapped down there as prisoners but this beanstalk still has not stopped growing it grows even higher to what what else the giants which this giant is not a cyclops giant this giant looks hideous <laughs> has like about eight or nine <laughs> eyes look like a spider and then has a nipple pierced but no he's a party like he parties and it's weird like yeah, he's one he's, he's a bro be, yeah this is supposed to be on spring break this is when a, they go back, when he comes down here. This is a bro giant. <laughs> and so, they had stopped the giants from coming down to their kingdom because of the destruction that they do down there. But this being stuff created a way for them to come back down. He comes back down to party. Oh, it's time to party. Starts destroying the homes, eating them. Drinking the water, mind you, the king is peed in this water as well. No, no, I was saying it was another water. No, 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 that was the same water. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was the same water. Starts peeing in another. Meanwhile, Patrick and the king release us, let us out. We can uh, stop this. Lo and behold, the they, king they, just hawks out and just breaks free. No, no, that's not what happened. What happens is well, I, he well, they were about to eat the other guy. No, so what happened was oh no no he didn't hawk out. I'm sorry. He didn't hawk out. Hulk he, out, he said but he was about to eat. The mayor. Yeah, he basically took the mayor pr prisoner for a second. There, he said, he said, let if y'all let us out, we'll help you. And the mayor says, we didn't yeah, vote on that. And the guy and he, who vote has already been killed. Yeah. And so he grabs the mayor, and it's like going to act like he's going to eat him. And he says, let me go. I'm going to eat your mayor. So they let him go. And then King runs off. Well, gets ready to run off to go back down the thing. So Patrick's like, but we have to help them. Yep. King, of course. He wants no part of that, but then Patrick reveals that that gold nipple that the giant has Could is see. enough money to give, well, enough 
to get the money to help the kingdom out. Of course, the king's going to be greedy and say, yeah, let's do that. They break. Take the nipple off of the, uh, well, the nipple ring. Like, literally rips it right off of no, no, the no. giant. Tell after, them I have first. Oh, no, <laughs> okay, relax, relax. <laughs> after they uh, grab some strength from, well, not strength, but some rope, or whatever you want to call it, from the uh, vine. I'm sorry. Stop. It's a vine yeah. from the beanstalk. giant beanstalk. And do the uh, famous scene from Star Wars where they wrap it around the legs and the what happens to a tall object when they wrap by the legs? It falls. But he doesn't just fall. He falls head first onto a oh. giant. I don't even know. What it was like a building. Was. It was like a pillar. It was and like... it just goes right through there, giving him looking like a horn right through one of his eyes, killing him. And then they just track, just basically yank the nickel so right off. So the most right funniest down. part about but that, that wasn't it. Oh, yeah, go ahead. You, you remember? That wasn't it though. While this is all happening. You have broth. No, no, not that part. No, no, no. Go back for a second. Because remember, he went, after they ripped the, the nipple ring off, right? Oh. It was like, let's put him out of his misery. Oh, yeah, they started. But the little fairy, whatever the people were. Yeah, they started eating him. They started eating him. They, they wanted to kill him. I mean, it was already <laughs> dead anyway. So they was eating him anyway. But while this is all going on, you have broth down there. Told and ordered by the queen to chop down the street. Uh, damn giant mean stuff. So he's hacking away. As they take the nipple away, you can see the tr the uh, beanstalk starts to shake a little bit. Patrick's like, "We gotta go. It's time to go. Gotta get out of here." Next thing you know, the, it starts toppling all the way down. They they ride it down basically on a giant leaf. But as but it's it goes ahead. down, and it starts hitting these uh, indigenous peoples home and starts destroying it they make it all the way down safely but the being stock cripples one of the uh buildings for well one of the pillars for the uh okay. castle there but in the process it also destroys the home for those indigenous people and they just start falling from the sky splat everywhere because blood, blood all over. So, so basically they committed genocide in the process they did once again mass genocide <laughs> so also, there's one part that he left out that continues with the story. While Patrick was planting the beans, he's seen this girl. The, the, what was her name? What was her name? I mean, she was a cook. I forget her name at this moment. I remember her last name. Her name was revealed at the end. Sloan. Sloan was her name. Um, but it's this girl who was a kitchen maid or whatever. And he falls in, and he starts liking her. And they become boyfriend and girlfriend. And then as time goes on, they found out that she was the assassin. Because the rightful Plot heir twist. was her mother. Who was locked up? The mad witch? <laughs> Who's locked up by the brother, King Merriman. And. They, they had this whole backstory about how the chastity belt, she wanted to put the chastity... Oh, wait, we forgot a whole episode. About the about the, about the the chastity belts. Eh. I mean... Eh. About the whole chastity belts and how... They, they, they actually... It was funny because they, they... Back then, right? I don't know if this is how they really felt, but back then... I mean, of course, you had to be pure. Yeah, but... Know, let's get married. I'm everything. referring to the fact that... Remember, they said, we said that they're, they're blending modern with... Um, old. Yeah. They believe in women's rights. Some of them. Do. Some of them. The, 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 the females. The females. Not King Merriman. The, the women do. The do. women believe well, in women's rights. Well, let's be honest. The queen, she got around a whole lot. She splurred a lot of the STDs around. Especially the only squire uh, tournament. A lot is not that, word. That was her uh, ritual. Oh, I'm disappearing on a squire tournament to so have sex with these squires. <laughs> Each one that wants to be a squire, you must have sex with me. Except for what you call because yeah, she said she needs consensual I consent. <laughs> and the part I, that kind of, I was a little surprised they mentioned this on the show and that uh, they got away with this. Talking about underage, she doesn't mind if they're underage. It's even hotter for her. I'm like, did y'all really put this in this show? Really? Uh, in this time and day? Yeah, that, station? that was wild. 
Well, obviously he wasn't of age. I'm, he was just saying that. The, I get. I, I know. I'm just saying, saying they mentioned the child. Oh yeah. So they had a whole chastity belt um, episode about you know virginity and stuff like that. And then they, I said they come to find out that Sloane's mother is the queen's brother, and she feels as if though she's the rightful heir, and like they they staged the uh, you know they, they kill everybody, all most of the squires. Well, and, she planned this all herself. Yeah, she planned it all about his herself, but she got the information from Patrick being all in love with her. Telling her all the the deeds, the ins and outs of stuff, without even realizing. I'm like, oh, do you know that such and such, uh, the, the uh, princess Blossom doesn't ride with her at home. They just ride by themselves. But don't tell anybody. Mm-hmm. She just, she just basically put saving this in her memory bank. So she, when she actually plans to attack, um, she'll have that information. So long story short, they find, you know, they find that out, and she offers Patrick. To join her and this new, the new king, the new royal family, to possibly become king, and to see her naked. Yeah, because at this point, the king, the queen, and the princess have all been kicked, taken hostage by her, locked in a dungeon, the tall tower dungeon, whatever you want to call it. You call it dungeon. And it's only up to Patrick now to save them all. We're gonna see how that plays out in two, one. Okay, yeah. Didn't play out too well for everybody. Yeah, um, a lot of people died. They survived, obviously. So Patrick ends up saving them. Um, and after he saves them, you see the um, you see Sloan, which her name is actually Diana, and she flies off with like these fairy wings that she had. And then the mom was like, "Oh, don't be dramatic. I'm gonna do the same," and then jumps off and then dies, black, black to the ground, dead. So once they finally get down from the tower, because the tower, the, the castle is coming down. Mm-hmm. Thanks to the bomb that Sloan had. Yeah, so the tower's coming down, and as the tower's coming down, they actually go down a poop chute, which Witchcom had to do it twice. And then they're, you know, they survive. But then when he gets to his sister, she's his sister dead, he's like, hey, stop being over dramatic. I'm like, how dumb is the king here? <laughs> she's not being over dramatic. Then you know it, it, it's like what you're calling Patrick is, is is hurt because he's like, I love this girl. I had to you know I had to save you know the royal family because this is my job. And then Sergeant Megan or Megan was like, you know what, we, you're t- I'm taking you off the the the, the what was the call? It was a list. Yeah, I forget. It was like a shit list or whatever, but it wasn't. So he, he takes off the list and said, we need more squires like you. Just then the third, and then it basically cuts to Diana meeting up with the old Mad King, which you can tell that's gonna basically hop off into season two. So yeah. um that's basically the gist of it. Um like I said it was a really, really funny um it was funny, but it has very funny moments, let me say it like that. Yeah, um and like it, the cracking scene. Yeah. And it was it was uh, definitely a lot of that we left out, but that was just basically the main storyline of it. Um and don't you know you can definitely catch it on um hulu all, all 10 episodes yep all 10 episodes each under 30 minutes so definitely check it out if you haven't watched it i would hope you have watched it before watching us in our spoiler version but if you uh liked it let us know talk to us in the comments down below and as always don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys for watching till next time